we go again. It's my third video of the day talking about trades and signings. In my playlist, uh, I started with the Ottawa-Toronto trade, um, which included six players, the biggest one there being Zaitsev and Connor Brown. You can go check that out. My second video of the day, um, you'll find there as well, is about other trades earlier. Panarin, Bobrovsky, Zuccarello, uh, I mean signings, by the way. Hartman, uh, who else am I missing that's in there? Pavelski, of course. Uh, and, uh, Z yeah, Zuccarello, I mentioned Burr, 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 burr. Anyways, um, it's inevitable that I'm going to be missing a lot of, you know, some, especially depth players. I got all the key players for the most part. So let's just move forward, shall we? Um, Sebastian Ajo has signed an offer sheet from the Montreal Canadiens. Can you believe it? Darren Dreger of TSN is dan dancing naked on a rooftop patio somewhere with a pina colada in his hand. <laughs> Now, the uh, contract is for five years at $8.454 million. If the Carolina Hurricanes don't match, they get a first, a second, and a third. Now, this contract, I believe, is just short of the next tier up. I want to say like $400,000 or less, in which it's, you start to, it starts to get a bit heavier with two firsts and, and so on and so forth. So it's just under that, uh, that grade. Now, the thing about this contract is that it's signing bonus heavy. So, and one might look at the Hurricanes and, you know, um, how cheap the owner is or how value-orientated he is, however you want to look at it. Now, the first year of this contract has $11.3 million in bonuses alone uh, with, with plus $700,000 um, in actual salary. And then the, the uh, second payout is for just or just over nine million or so, um, plus another seven hundred k. So you're looking at around in total, just in the first year, in a calendar year of around twenty million dollars, twenty 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 two million dollars. They've got to write a check for to Sebastian Ajo. Is the owner gonna do this? Most likely, he will. You know, he's not gonna take a first and a second and a third for uh, an eighty three, eighty four point player who plays center. Yeah, it, it's not going to happen. Um, some of the insiders, <coughs> Kiprios, excuse me, said that, oh, well, the owner um, likes to buy things uh, at a discount price, you know, 60 cents on the dollar kind of deal. That's just them spreading drama and trying to sell newspapers. Don't believe it. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, let's, let's move on here. Let's get to Robin Leonard who has just been signed by the Chicago Blackhawks. Can you believe it? For one year at $1.5 million. Now, the Blackhawks, after the signing, don't have much cap space left. Just over a million dollars. They do not have uh, anyone on an LTIR. So that's shaving it pretty close. Uh, but this is a good signing. Um, he's 27 years old, Leonard. Uh, some of his statistics, as, as we all know, he won the Masterson Trophy, the Jennings, uh, and last year with New York Islanders, in 46 games, he had a 2.13 goals against and a .930 save percentage. He was, he was fantastic. So you add this to Chicago's existing goaltenders in Corey Crawford at age 34, who has one year left on his contract, by the way, at $6 million, and Colin Delia, who's 25, who has three years left at $1 million per. I could see a, a split in the games here. Maybe Robin Leonard might actually even take on more like closer to 50 games. We'll see. And then the rest will be split between Crawford and Delia. That's my guess anyway. Chicago fans, tell me what you think. Um, moving on to the New York Islanders. They sign Anders Lee for $7 million AAV over seven years. Can you? Yeah. They, they almost lost him. They almost lost their captain for a second time. They did lose Leonard, uh, which is a bit of a bummer, I gotta say. But um, this deal is... Uh, yeah, it's a little expensive. I mean, Leonard... Uh, Lee, excuse me, Lee is... Oh my god, age, age. Where's his age? 28 years old. There it is. 28 years old. Um, he's from Minnesota. 6'3", 231 pounds. Big boy. He's 28, right? So, 
That's seven more years, takes him to 35. It's not horrible by any means. I mean, he did have 28 goals and uh, 51 points last season, and he was a plus 20. He's defensively responsible on top of that. In the playoffs, though, in, during, in eight games, he only had one goal, three assists for four points, and was a minus one. Hmm. Now, of course, the Islanders were in on Panarin um, up until last mo last night, actually. Uh, today is, what's today? Today's Monday. Sunday night. There was the, t the the talk was that New York Islanders were about to sign him, and then it just changed. Things just changed this morning uh, because Columbus also got in on it because they could offer an eight million deal, eight million deal that no one else could. And then um, he came back to New York Rangers and actually took a bit of a discount uh, to sign with them at around eleven million or whatever it was. So and now they he, they knew for sure. Um, Lamorello knows for sure that they're not in on him. They okay. Let's throw some money at Anders Lee. They keep their captain, um, keep the morale high. I I would think after this signing too, especially you know after losing Leonard and what happened last year. I'm not going to bring that up anymore. So we'll see where he goes with this, and um, we'll see what else Lamorello does. I think he's definitely going to need more scoring. So far, they've just just subtracted really from last season. Next up. Who do we have? We've got Matt Duchesne, who signs a seven-year contract for $8 million with the Nashville Predators. Where are you here? Now, um, after this signing, Nashville still has just over $5 million in cap space. They don't have anyone on the LTIR there. Matt Duchesne, um, now left shot center. Uh, from uh, Ontario, 5'11", 195 pounds. Last season had in um, in 73 games uh, between the Ottawa Senators and the Columbus Blue Jackets, had 31 goals and 68, had 70 points for a, and it was a minus three overall. In the playoffs, though, uh, in 10 games, he had 10 points, five goals, five assists, and was a plus four. So, uh, obviously, a terrific signing for Nashville. We've all been seeing this for a long time, especially Nashville's wanted this guy for at least three years now before he, you know, he went to Ottawa. They tried to get in on that. And what happens now with Turris? We'll see. We'll see uh, if there's a trade, a signing uh, in his future. Um, now, uh, moving on. That's going to make them a different contender, though. I mean, I know P.K. Saban was gone, so they could sign, give him some room, and put him in there. And um, they're a deeper team because of it. They've finally got some scoring happening there. If they can afford uh, to do a trade or anything to make any more depth later, that's all that's going to happen. Now... Um, the Nashville, does they have any RFAs left to sign? Yeah, they got two. They got Grimaldi and Sissons. Um, 125, 126. Sissons, probably the more important of the two. And yeah, they don't have much money left. So, yeah. Uh, moving on. Wayne Simmons signs a one-year, $5 million deal with the New Jersey Devils. I like this signing. Um, I really do. I, I know Simmons, you know, seems like he's a bit over the hill now, and he didn't really do much with Nashville at all last season or much else with Philly. But um, now he, he's 30 years old right now. He's six foot two, 185 pounds uh, from Scarborough, Ontario. Last season, um, split between the Flyers and the Nashville Predators. Uh, in 60, 70, 70, 70, in 79 games, he had uh, 17 goals, uh, 13 and 13 assists uh, for 30 points. And he was a minus 16. Mind you, he was a plus four once he got to Nashville and minus 20 in Philly. They Philly really improved not long after they traded him. Of course, Car Corey Hart came up and he started playing, uh, I want to say... Um, a little after, uh, a little before S Simmons left, but he, he didn't do much in 17 games w with with um, the Predators. He only had three points in the playoffs. He only played two games um, and didn't have any points in those games. So, uh, yeah, is it a little pricey? Sure, but considering they have um, Jack Hughes, a rookie coming on board, um, and they signed PK Subban, and 
there's um there's still some cap space there. They have almost uh, just under twenty million, twenty one million dollars left. I can see the Devils doing other things now. They still have some RFAs left. They have on defense. They have Mueller, Butcher, who's probably the most important one there, um, and Connor Carrick. They'll probably get him for um, you know one or two or less. So, um, although he is a right defense, those are hard to come by. Uh, the other RFA is Pavel Zaka, the centerman at 22 years old. That'll be interesting. He has no arbitration rights, mind you. See how they sign him. Devils look like they are starting to look like a playoff team. And if, if Blackwood can play um, like he did last season for the most part anyways, uh, they got a shot. Yeah. So, yeah, really interesting to see how that whole dynamic mixes. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Timo Mir has re-signed with the San Jose Sharks um, for four years at $6 million per year. Now, um, Timo Mir plays uh, both wings. Uh, he shoots left. Um, he's from Switzerland. He's six foot, 210 pounds. Last season, he had a uh, breakout season for the most part. Yeah. 30 goals, 66 points, 66 points, and a plus nine in the playoffs in 20 games. He had five goals um, and 15 points and was a plus three. He's basically one of the reasons they couldn't sign Pavelski, um, along with uh, LeBunk, I want to say, who they still have to sign. Now, the Sharks uh, have just under $8 million in cap space. Do they have anyone on LTIR? No, they do not. Uh, but they still have a couple of RFAs here in Kevin LeBanc, uh, the 23-year-old, and Dylan Gambrell, um, the 22-year-old center. So uh, that should be, I would think that should be enough easily for the both of them. We'll see. Uh, it's the goaltending I'm still concerned about with the Sharks. Aaron Dell, I heard they were, might be move, trying to move on from him at one point. He's there for one more year at $1.9 million, which... Martin Jones is going to show up next season. Uh, next up, who do we have here? We've got Brandon Tanev has signed a six-year six year, yeah, six deal. $3.5 million per uh, with the Pittsburgh Penguins. <sighs> Not sure how I feel about this one. Um, it's The Penguins have just over... 1.5 million in cap space left. Um, they do not have anyone on the LTIR. Tanev, now, Tanev's, don't get me wrong, Tanev's a good player, okay? Nobody freak out. He plays both wings. He's uh, He's got a left shot. He's 27 years old, so he's about right in his prime right now. He's from Toronto. He's uh, 6 foot, 180 pounds. Last season... Um, he had a breakout season of sorts in 80 games. He had 14 goals, 15 assists for 29 points, and was a plus 9. He's defensively responsible. That's important. Um, the uh, I think that's the most he's ever... He's that's the, Yeah, that is the most he's ever scored, and that's the most points he's ever had as well. In the playoffs, in five games, uh, he had one goal, one assist for two points. Plus, e plus minus was even. Uh, in the playoffs the year before, in 17 games, he had four goals, two assists, um, six points, a minus four. So this guy, you're looking at a guy who can probably slot him in the third line for the most part, maybe fill in on the second line here and there. We'll see. You know, kind of guy goes in front of the net, um, gets some garbage goals here and there. I just, I guess it's, it's just the term seals seems a little long. Six years? Uh, 3.5? Yeah, that's that's decent, I guess. That's around where he should be paid. Six? Why give him six years? I, you know, four. Four should have been more than enough. Uh, I know he's, you know, he's 27, so that'll, that'll take him till 33. Yeah. I haven't been too crazy about um, what Pittsburgh's been doing a lot of um, recently. I mean, this, they got Kaljanik and the Kessel trade, but I've got a video up on that, by the way, if you want to take a look at it. Next, we've got Richard Panic, um, who signed a four-year deal at $2.75 with the Washington Capitals. Um, this is 
just some depth signing. Uh, you know, he plays both wings. Um, he's from Slovakia, six foot one, two hundred eight pounds. He's twenty eight years old. Shoots left. Last year, um, with the Arizona Coyotes in seventy five games, he had fourteen goals, thirty three points for a minus three. The most points he's ever put up was with uh, Chicago in two thousand sixty. 16-17, in which he had 22 goals. Yeah, third line, depth winger, signing, not bad. Um, he doesn't really have much playoff history uh, here to speak of. Uh, so yeah, so th that's it, that's all. Let's move on to um, one of the bigger signings of the day here in Vancouver. I'm talking about Tyler Myers, right-hand shot defenseman, signs a five-year contract at six million per not bad i mean uh, there is rumors going that you might you know as much as eight million dollars like come on it's crazy it's lunacy right um so yeah so that's not a bad deal uh now tyler myers uh he's 29 years old um and he uh he shoots he shoots right he's a right shot defenseman he's six foot eight long lanky guy 229 pounds Stats for last season in Winnipeg, in 80 games, he had 9 goals, 22 assists, 31 points, and was a plus 11. Uh, in the playoffs, in 6 games, he didn't have any points, and he was even in the plus-minus category. This is definitely a good pickup for Vancouver. Um, he'll probably play maybe even first pairing minutes, we'll see. Maybe probably more suited to second line, and on a real contender's third pairing minutes but um, I, I think this is a great signing and it's 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 a fair price um, for the most part I, I feel it's a uh, a fair term as well uh, for yeah for six years one two three four five five years excuse me I'm backing it up here beep beep uh, anyway um, the Vancouver Canucks also signed um, on a two-year contract worth two million per year Jordy Ben um, Jordy Ben, of course, uh, used to play for the Montreal Canadiens. Um, he is, uh, oops, that's Shen. I'm on the wrong guy here. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. There I am. Um, yeah, so he's a left shot, left defenseman, although I know he's also played right. He's 31 years old from Victoria, BC, 6'2", 199 pounds. His stats for last season in 81 games, he had five goals, 22 points, uh, and he was a plus 15. So, uh, a reliable defenseman, um, he'll go good with some of the younger kids who are coming up. Uh, again, um, in terms of uh, term and, uh, and money, I think this is a good fit for everyone. Um, what is Vancouver has left here, just, under, just over $8.7 million left in cap space. They have nobody on the LTIR. I would think there's, hmm, they still have, a little space to do something, but that Luongo retirement uh, cap penalty definitely hurt them at just over, yeah, $3 million. Moving on, Anton Strahlman. Where are you, Anton? There he is. He signed a three-year deal at $5.5 million with the Florida Panthers. This is a right shot defenseman a lot of teams had asked about, um, uh, including the Leafs, who have no right shot defensemen. Well, they got Cody Cece, but uh, I don't know. Um, now, Anton Strawman, uh, let's look at some of his statistics here. Now, he's a right shot, um, right D, 32 years old, um, and his birthday is in Aug on August 1st, so he'll be 33 by the beginning of the season. So, three years, fair, $5.5 million. That's, whoo. So it takes him to 35, no, 35, yeah, 35 years old. Uh, that's a little, that's pretty pricey. Now, he played with Victor Hedman for, uh, you know, while he was in Tampa, New York Rangers before that, Columbus before that, Toronto Maple Leafs before that, funny enough. Now, in uh, 47 games last season, he had two goals, 17 points, was a plus 12. Uh, season before that, uh, he had 18 points, plus 29 and so on and so forth. Um, in the playoffs, um, he did not play. Yeah, he was injured. In, in the 2017-18, though, in 17 playoff games, he had... Um, oh, that's... Yeah. 
He had uh, one goal, four assists, five points. It was a minus three. Th yeah, this is a good signing for Florida. Now, this really... I mean, they needed some defensive defensemen here um, to help out, you know, with... Because there are other three defensemen. I'm talking about Matheson and uh, Ekblad and uh, Yandel are known for their toner turnovers and such. Um, so probably putting this, he could even be paired on the first or second pairing. We'll see what they do with him. Uh, but they have a plethora of right shot D right now, including Ekblad, um, Ekblad, uh, Pisk, Pisik, Pisik. I was, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Uh, Brown uh, and Uyghur. obviously, uh, Pis Pisik, and. Um, and Ek Ekblad will be, you know, the uh, the one, two, three, right there. Yeah, he'll he'll be on the second pairing most likely. That's it. Looks like they're really solidifying that now. Restricted free agents. Um, the Tampa Bay Lightning have just over four point eight million dollars uh, available in cap space with nobody on the LTIR. Um, the RFA's uh, forward is Dennis Maglin at age twenty two. Uh, Mackenzie Wiedner, right shot defenseman at age uh, 25. He's got ar arbitration rights, as does uh, Ian Koshin at age 23, who's left defense. Moving on, um, Curtis McElhaney. <sighs> I'm a Leaf fan, as you may or may not know. Um, I'm originally from there. Why didn't they go after Cur Curtis McElhaney? I know they signed Hutchinson. So many teams could have used McElhaney here, including Carolina, uh, maybe ugh, the Islanders now <laughs> uh, could use him. Uh, it's and he didn't sign for much. It was a good deal, two years at one point three million dollars per year. Um, now he uh, he's six foot two, two hundred and three pounds. He's thirty six years old, so that'll take him to thirty eight. But the last few years, especially, he's been very good. Uh, with Carolina in 33 games, he had a uh, .912 save percentage, uh, 2.58 goals against. In five playoff games, um, he had a .930 save percentage and a uh, 2.00 goals against. Pretty good. With the Toronto Maple Leafs the year before, in 18 games, he had a .934 save percentage and a 2.14 goals against. He's just, um, yeah, yeah. He's just done really. He did really well in Toronto, really well with the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, surprised more teams didn't chase him. The problem is here in Tampa, they still have Louis Dominique signed um, for one more year at one point one five million dollars, and he had a pretty decent year last year. I, I, I you know, as cash strapped as these guys are. Um, cause right now the lightning are sitting at seven point, just under $8 million in cap space, but they have, they do have a $5.8 million on the LTIR in Ryan Callahan, which puts them at eight plus five around 13 million ish dollars. Um, I mean, most of that's going to go to Braden Point, and they have a slew of RFAs, uh, Adam Earn, Daniel Markell, Cedric Paquette, um, to name a few. No other guys on defense that, that they need to sign. Um, and that moves us on to the next one, Luke Shen. I know he's a depth signing, um, and they signed him for one year at 700 k um, He's more like a eighth or, you know, seventh, eighth pairing. He is a right shot D, and they just lost Strawman to the Panthers, um, as we just talked about. Uh, moving on, let's talk about uh, the... Jonas Donskoy, and that he is signed. Has it gotten darker in here, or is it just me? Yeah, my my light is running out of juice. Hold on, hold on. Just what a time to run out of batteries, huh? Let's just. There we go. It's, it's kind of yellow light. Doesn't really look that great, but we'll work with it. Okay, jo Jonas Donskoy. This video is so long. Um. The, it was signed by the Colorado Avalanche for four years at $3.9 million per year. Now, um, he is a uh, right shot, right winger, 27 years old from Finland, 6 foot 190 pounds. Uh, last season, of course, he came from the Sharks. That's where he's played his whole NHL career. He had, uh, in 80 games, 14 goals, 37 
points um, and was a plus 10. A nice, a nice step uh, signing by Colorado here. And I want to say that was a career year for him in goals and points as well. Yes, it was. Colorado also signed uh, pierre Edouard Belmer, Belmer um, off the Vegas, uh, who, was, who played for the Vegas Golden Knights the past couple of seasons. They signed him to a two-year, $1.8 million contract. He's their you know, fourth-line center. Really effective. He had some, uh, some plus numbers. He may not be the fleetest of foot, um, but uh, I think that's a, a really good depth signing. You throw some kids alongside him on the fourth line, and Bob's your uncle right there. I have some other uh, depth signings here, and we're just about done. Sammy Blay was signed by the St. Louis Blues at one year at 850 k That's good. He hit everything in the playoffs. That's a good signing. Uh, Jonas, uh, or Jonas? Jonas Corpusalo, uh, the goaltender, re-signed with the Columbus Blue Jackets for one year at $1.15 million. One of the Columbus Jackets, they need, they need, they're missing players hardcore. <laughs> this light is dying. Um, they need goaltending. They need everything. They need offense. Uh, what are they going to do? They have a lot of cap space. It's time to spend it. Um, <laughs> and not just on Corpus Allo. They could have used McElhaney. Brought him back. Why not? Uh, Andre Sequeira, that's another uh, depth signing by the Dallas Stars. At one year at $1.5 million. He was playing with the Edmonton Oilers. Um... Speaking of the Oilers, they re-signed uh, Jujar Kera at uh, two years, $1.2 million per. And then, uh, then there's Tyler Ennis, who signed with the Ottawa Senators. Really good signing there. Uh, one year at eight hundred k. Thought he would have signed for a bit more than that, at least a million. Um, surprised the Leafs didn't pick him up. Uh, Par Lindholm signed with the uh, Boston Bruins. Uh, he played with Winnipeg and Toronto last season. He signed a two-year deal at 850k. He'll be their fourth-line center. Great penalty killer, too, by the way. Uh, and then, yeah, there you have it. There's a bunch of other deft guys uh, missing, but the light's dying. I really don't want to shoot this over again. It's so long. Thank you so much for watching. And um, please, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And... Uh, Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.